There must be no Tuke looking out of that. Maltuk? Who are you? How did you find me? Burgrind told me you'd be out here. He's persistent. I've told that Asaram a thousand times. I don't need to buy anything. And I'm not selling. I just need to find Araya. Well, you won't. She's gone where only shamans can tread. She seeks guidance from the voice in the blue light. That is her task. And the task she gave me is to observe the daemon's work. To stop it spreading, if I can. But what can I do about these towers? In only a few weeks, they've sprouted throughout the cut. The daemon's energy pulses from them. Rallies the machines, even repairs them. Aratok said this daemon was... frenzying machines? Look there. Those with the purple markings. They belong to the daemon. They're stronger, more dangerous. I've seen something like this before. A corruption. But it wasn't from your daemon. You have? Well, then you know more than I do. These towers, were they part of your corruption? No. Those are new to me, too. Like I said, they empower the daemon's machines. They must be stopped. Will you tell me where Aurea went? You ask a lot of questions. Only when I'm not getting the answers I need. There's but one voice Aurea wants to hear right now, and it isn't yours. I'm sorry. All right. You want to stop the spread of the Daemon's work? I know how to get started. With my bow and spear. Outlander, wait. Won't you tell me your name? Aloy. Good. If you fall to the Daemon's machines, at least I can properly recount your efforts to Araya. Thanks for the vote of confidence. But I won't fall. And when I'm done, you're gonna tell me where she is.
Seems I can take care of the machines and towers. The daemon's next. You claimed its power for yourself somehow. Perhaps Aurea should meet you after all. What she truly seeks is hope. After what I just saw, you could show her that. She's in retreat beyond those mountains, the ice rasps. You'll have to walk the shaman's path to get there. You'll know you've reached the end when you come to a shrine, a great machine covered in blue gleam. Shamans who complete the path take a piece of it as reward. If you make it that far, you should too. You'll have earned it. You said something about blue gleam at the end of the shaman's path? A crystal that builds on the bodies of machines in the oldest ice. We Banuk believe it's the stuff of the blue light, frozen as it escapes their shells. You might be more interested that merchants will trade well for it. Bergren told me you're Aurea's apprentice. In her absence, I serve the chieftain and his Werak as an advisor, a scout, a speaker for the blue light. A lot of responsibilities. I don't know if I can live up to Aurea's example, but I have to try. I owe her that much. She took a chance on me, an aspiring shaman from the edge of the world. No one else would. Were you with Aurea when they attacked the mountain? I wish I had been, even with all that happened. I'm no warrior, though, so she bid me wait. When Aurea and the Chieftain returned, I saw them argue bitterly. I don't know what about exactly. Then she came to me, gave me my task, and left us. How do I cross this shaman's path? Go to the ice rasps. Then follow the markers through the ice caves and the waterfalls, and make the climb to the shrine. But be careful. The path is meant to be an ordeal, the final trial of a young shaman's training. And I'll find Aurea at the end of it? No. She goes further up, somewhere inside the mountain. If you see her, would you tell her? I have faith she will hear the voice again. I guess I'm off to the ice rasps to find this shaman's path. Thank you. 
Winters. Coming at once. Somebody wanted him. He really blew this entire ledge off just to get through the door. Flooding detected. Evacuation recommended. Overflow basin compromised. The overflow basin. Is that the dip? Looks like a control center. What happened in here to start the water flowing? Someone's been through here. Not that long ago, either. The walk positions. Helpful. Another holographic interface. There must be some kind of code. Maybe I should try scanning objects in this area. There's our troublemaker. Doesn't seem to be as good at getting out as he is at getting intake tower malfunction. I should be able to shut this place down. Looks like most of the facility is underwater. How did this happen? I should be able to shut this place down from here. Oh, someone made a mess of this. If I had the right parts, I'll bet I could get it working again. Could be something around that my focus will see. I could use my focus to look around. Don't know how happy you just made me. <laughs> For a moment, I thought my fire was snuffed. My forge gone cold. But nope, nope. Not old Gildan. You're welcome. Uh, wait. Start from the beginning. What are you doing down here? Ow! My apologies. <laughs> When you mostly talk to yourself, you can tell your stories in whatever order you like. There's an artifact in that storage room I simply must acquire. But as you may have noticed, the door won't budge. I took one of those roundish, ringy what's-its from the wall beside the door. No luck. 
So I had to go with that panel with the button. Even less luck. My gentle experimentation caused the chamber to... Flood. Oh. So I pushed the button again, perhaps a little too enthusiastically. Sparks and smoke. <laughs> now, obviously, I came here to investigate. My... Cautious footsteps may have contributed slightly to the collapse of a bridge. And when the bridge began to collapse, I may have, for the sake of expedience, abandoned the cumbersome ringy what's it to the waves. And by the time I thought to give up the endeavor, the door had closed behind me. And thusly do we come to the present moment. You said something about an artifact? Indeed. That storage room is brimming with treasures from the old ones. But one in particular caught my eye. An intricate looking glass. I've only seen one such device before. My old mom brought one back for me from, from wherever she'd gone to that time. I remember holding it, staring into its face, seeing myself and my mother just over my shoulder, smiling. And one of these looking glasses. It's in the storage room. Oh. Yes, I'm quite sure. I peered into that dim little chamber, and there it was. I've wanted to find one for so long, I... Yes, this time I'm sure I have. Well, there's no way we're getting into that storage room without another ring. It's part of the locking mechanism that controls the door. You don't say. Well, that's fantastic news. Marvelous, even! You've got two hands, I've got two hands! Perfect! <laughs> my savior, my salvation, and if you like, why wouldn't you? Of course you will. My accomplice. <laughs> Together, that ring is as good as ours, and with it, the storage room and its spoils. Didn't you say you dropped the ring in the water? Well, I'll grant you that adds a heretofore undiscussed level of complexity to the proceedings. So you found the button that controls the flow of water. Quite by accident. And then you broke that button. Also quite by accident. The panel's the only way to shut this place down, as far as I can tell. This isn't gonna be easy. That storage room is filled, top to bottom. Would you be surprised to find the parts you need in there? I certainly wouldn't be. So... We need to replace that ring and get into the storage room. Then I can fix the panel and shut this place down. And I can finally wrap my fingers around that looking glass. Okay, Gildan. How are we gonna get that ring? Two sets of hands, girl! Two sets of hands! Behind us lie a pair of enormous gates, but I believe the gates must be operated in tandem. Together, we can dry this place out. Guess we better get started, then. I guess we better. Up ahead, girl. See the valve? Time to put our hands to use. I'll take care of this one. There's another valve on the other side to lock the gate in place. Would you mind heading across and uh, doing the honors? You know, I thought I saw some kind of tunnel up there. Might provide a means to cross the gap. You know, I'm reminded of a job I undertook out in this place. Stone Lord, Cloud Falls, Big Fire. I spent 13 levels.
One gate down. Halfway through then, aren't we? To the second gate! A ladder is a rare and special thing, girl. Can depend on it to take you exactly where you need to go, and no further. Skater somewhere. Let nice. me look around. Jump. See what I can find. <laughs> nice. What am I saying? That was stupendous. I've never seen such absolute disregard for personal safety. Thanks. I think. Oh, you're close, girl. Just spring across the gap. Huh? You're right above me. Just send that ladder on down. Look out below. Now we've done this once before. It could be as easy as falling down a hole. If you take the valve on the other side. It's set up the same way on this side. I should look for an access tunnel. water. Charming. Okay, Gildan, turn the valve. straight to the cannery from here. And if you climb higher, what about it? To go. You were a sight to see. Bounding from metal rust trap to metal rust. 
lost track. Still a bit of water, but low enough, wouldn't you say? Now then, uh, where's that ring? Good question. Well, at least I should be able to swim now. Snap maw! It's a snap maw! Very, very big snap maw! I see it, Gildan! Very big, very, very big! Just stay out of the way! You were right. This thing did swallow the ring. Ha, ha! That's the old Gildan intuition in action. It's never led me astray. Sure, its chosen routes can be a bit circuitous, but never mind. To the storage room. To the spoils. Oh, what's in here? More old world treasures, perhaps? This we drained place enough is water full for what we surprises. need to do, but... Should we have a look? I wonder if I could empty out the whole dam. Pipes, valves. Maybe I can drain the rest of the water from here. Sure are a lot of valves. Should check my focus first. Perhaps my focus can help me. All right, time to get the flow going to the right place. I say this as a man typically enamored of complexities, but this looks like it might be a little much for me. Don't worry, I think I've got this. Music to my ears, to each job its proper tool. Toothpicks make horrible arrows, as the saying goes.
got a competent mind, girl. A mind for nuance and finesse. Not I. No, indeed. Not old Gildan. Side morning in the claim. Looks like that's everything. I should head back up with Gilder. So, as we circle back around to the matter of the supply room. Wait, I can't wait! Almost there! Soon I'll hold the looking glass in my hand. Just like Mum and I used to. But you'd lost your mind tickling the empty air like that. Okay, let's fix the panel and shut this place down. Gildan? Everything okay? I was so sure I saw it. The looking glass. I was so sure. Right there in the window. Course. Trick of the light. Nothing at all. I'm sorry, Gildan. It must have meant a lot to you. Oh, well. Much as any artifact of the old ones would mean to me, really. It's fine. Uh, I'm fine. Besides, what are the spoils compared to the Delve? That's why we do it, girl. <laughs> the Delve! Not the treasure. <laughs> And what a delve it was! Ugh. By the great Blazing Forge, I'll never forget that. Now then, I, uh... believe we have some repairs to make. Oh, that 
It's a whole lot prettier, isn't it? <laughs> what does it mean? It means it worked. By the forge! Ah, you are a wonder! Do you hear that often? I'll hazard a guess you do. I've heard something like that once or twice. Oh, she's modest now. A master of the arts of the old ones, a delver to shame the entire claim, and she wants to be modest. Ha! It's not like I did it alone, Gildan. No. No, I suppose not. So what's next for you? On your way back to the claim? And deprive the people of Song's Edge the story of this encounter? Perish the thought! <laughs> I'll stay there a while longer. But a story is best told by all who encountered it. Come and lend a hand, won't you? <sighs> Overflow basin empty. Interior accessible. Minimal flood damage. Sounds like the basin is dried out, too. Do that, take a look. Another adventure so soon? Whew, you're braver than me. But well, there was no question of that. <laughs> you go on ahead. Our victory. Lower. And going by that sound, I think Lao Lai's already at the den. Fast 
fascinating if they weren't looking for me. I don't know what you did, but the water drained in the snap of a short song. What do you think of the music? I've never heard anything else like it. That's because there's no other place with such resonance, such intonation that rattles your ribs with its power. And of course, no one else knows these pipes like I do. I learned them by ear before I could walk, strapped to my father's back. Thank you for draining the waters. Not just for myself but for my ancestors and their songs. Please, take this as a token of our gratitude. Let's see, what shall I play next? The echoes are different, but still, sounds are 